Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Today we're going to be covering photogrammetry, otherwise known as 3D scanning. Although the method we're not, we are going to be using will not require any special equipment. Any camera will work. Uh, we're using a free software called Meshroom. It's free and open source. And you can find it on the alicevision.github.io website or just search Meshroom on any search engine. And uh, here it is. Go ahead and scroll down, find Meshroom here and just click download. Now, unfortunately, they only have binaries available for Windows and Linux. Um, go ahead and just choose your operating system and download it. It'll download in um, either a zip file or a tar file, which you will then have to extract. Once you've extracted it, there will be a Meshroom and then a dash and then whichever version it is. So this is the 2019.1.0 version. So I'm gonna open up this folder. And then right here is gonna be the executable file that you will open Meshroom with. It uh, is called Meshroom. On Windows, I think it's an e exe file, but uh, just the Meshroom file. Go ahead and double click that, and then Meshroom will open. Um, at this point, you're going to want to go out and collect some images. Now, for a demo of what kind of images you're gonna be wanting, you're gonna be wanting, um, hopefully, flat lighting. Uh, this is actually a pretty poor example. You can see there's shadows on the rock here. Um, meaning that uh, that shadow will actually be baked into the texture. So relighting this might be difficult. Um, the ideal circumstance is taking your pictures when it's overcast outside, like a cloudy day. That way there won't be any distinctive shadows and you'll get a much better result. Um, you're gonna be wanting to get a pic pictures from a lot of different angles, move the camera slightly each time, moving around the object at different heights, and basically just try and get as many pictures as possible but make sure they're even. So basically make circles around the object at different heights, pointing at different angles up and down. Uh, once you've gathered those pictures, you can actually go ahead and drop them into the uh, Meshroom interface. So you can go ahead and drag those in there and it'll go ahead and add all of those image files in. Um, Meshroom here is actually a node-based system meaning that you have each of these individual nodes and you can actually make multiple different versions and branches off of here using different nodes to refine your model as you go along. Um, at this point, most of these do not need touched, structure for motion, prepare, dense, scene, all of these, except for up to the meshing point. This is where you can choose the resolution of your mesh and uh, as you can see, after that, you can also smooth the mesh out and texture. Here you can also choose the resolution of your texture. Three, these three nodes right here are what most of your editing is going to be done with. So I'm going to just run it to in image matching. If I select it and click start, it will... Oh, excuse me, I haven't saved. You do need to save before you run anything in order for all of the computations to be able to be stored somewhere. I will just create a file here and we'll just call it test there we go and go ahead and start computing up to there it's actually running feature matching at this point because I just clicked start up here you can actually right click a node and uh, just compute to there um, but at this point it'll just run through each and every one of these nodes until the very end which will take a little bit of time so using the magic of editing I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward in time when the compute when the computations are done Okay, so the last stage of the computation just finished, the texturing stage. And as you can see here, uh, there is the sparse point cloud of the rock and all of the cameras in this circular pattern taking pictures from a bunch of different angles. Now at this point, we can double click meshing and that will preview what the mesh looks like. We can actually disable those points. And as you can see, here's the base mesh with no texture. If we double click texturing and turn off the mesh stage because there's a filtering and smoothing step in between there you can see our rock a full 3d model of a rock as you can see it's very similar to even this crappy mo mobile phone picture um, pretty much any camera will be able to get some decent results so at this point you might be wondering how to export your file because if you look at this test file that meshroom saved it's only 52 kilobytes which is not the size of a 3d model so it turns out that Meshroom actually stores the 3D model in its cache. So we need to go ahead and click open folder here by right clicking on texturing 
and you can see the texture zero, the, the material, and the mesh file. All of these three files here. We need to copy these and put them in a location that's not that meshroom cache folder. So we can save them for later for further processing. Now at this point, we have those exported um, and saved out. So we can just close meshroom. And we're gonna open these in another free and open source program called MeshLab, which you can go ahead and download by just looking it up. It's very simple to install. And we're going to import that mesh. As you can see right here. And there we are with our texture and everything. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna clean up these edges. We don't need all of this uh, extra stuff out here. So we're gonna choose the Select Faces tool and click and drag. And as you can see, it's cutting all of those out. Then hold Control and then you can add to that. If you hold Shift, it will take away from it. So here we go. Now we just have this box surrounding, oh, excuse me. Now we have the this box surrounding the rock here. And what we're going to do is delete these faces with uh, this button right here. At this point, you will see the rock all on its own with just a little bit of ground. At this point, we're going to export it. So we're gonna export the mesh and go ahead and click OK. All right, now that we have exported this cleaned up version of the model, um, the photogrammetry process is finished. We have a finalized model with a texture that we can use in any 3D software we want. Now, it was a rather short video, but I hope you found it helpful. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like. And if you're feeling especially nice, go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys later.